good evening. It's an honor to be here to share ideas with such an interesting group of people who envision a strong and innovative future for Vancouver. I have to tell you that when Sam and Lynn initially asked me to attend, I thought I was going to a small dinner party at their home. Little did I know. <laughs> Let me start by telling you a story about a man I met recently. I was getting off the Canada line early one morning, rushing to BCC to welcome community leaders and influencers at a strategic planning session. There he was, sitting outside in the wet and cold, asking for money. How could I not stop? How could I ask other leaders that very morning to work with me to make a stronger bond with our community if I didn't model what I was asking of them? So I invited him along to the cafe in our downtown campus for something to eat. By the way, his name is Richard. Richard told me a bit about himself. He always, hadn't had, he always didn't have to ask for change. And like many, he dreams of a better life for himself, one that involves upgrading his education, getting a job, and having the luxury, that's what he calls it, of being able to shower and sleep on a full stomach in a safe environment. He dreams of having a purpose and a place in our society. That morning at the session, I heard a similar theme. Participants told me time and time again that BCC, like many other institutions, provides many people with their second chance in life and an opportunity for a new beginning. We make a difference in people's lives every day, and it really was driven home by the fact that we have a significant role to, to play in our community, and it's our responsibility to meet that role. I believe that the idea I'm about to share with you will move our city forward and help bring social and economic prosperity for our community. So tonight, I'm going to ask you to take a leap of imagination, to dream along with me, and to ask, why not? This idea is a little different. Imagine an urban collaborative campus, one that links learning and community services, business, health, and trades and technology and arts and culture. There are some people who might stand up and say, we're already doing that, and we are. But I believe we can build on the work that's already being done and go much deeper. Let me explain what I mean by a collaborative campus. It brings together learning and employment and social sector opportunities throughout the community, including health and social services, arts and culture, retail, tourism, and business, to name just a few. Students would receive a hands-on lear hands learning experience where they might find themselves preparing food in a trendy restaurant, working in fashion design house, or working on a musical production, or working in a women's shelter. The <coughs> opportunities are absolutely endless. Fashion and design, business, culinary, legal support, public relations, graphic design, health and safety, the list goes on and on. The impact could be significant. Vancouver Community College, as one example, has more than 140 programs that they offer each year to access and integrate into the downtown community. Imagine if we combined forces. I know there are students, other post-secondaries, business and community leaders out there who could help bring this concept to life. We would create multiple points in our community where students and teachers, and by teachers I mean those involved in any way in this concept, not just the trained professionals from education, who would come together to learn about, through, and from each other. Everyone would take on the role of contributor and recipient. Let's just focus on post-secondary education just for a minute. Imagine how the urban institutions alone could come together in this dynamic model to meaningfully listen to the needs and help create a skilled workforce for Vancouver's not only present but future economic needs. It's more efficient, it's more effective, and would have more impact. Why not? There are so many examples where post-secondary meets community. For example, at VCC's downtown campus on Dunsmuir, just a short one-minute walk away from here, my office overlooks Victory Square. When I look out, I see BCC's community, our community. It's the one that I'm the most passionate about. Victory Square is just one example in Vancouver of where campus meets community. That's where my dream of a collaborative campus begins. I hope the next time you're in your office or setting, you'll look out and really see the community surrounding you and the many opportunities to link with students at post-secondary and what it could mean for not only your sector or area of interest, most importantly to the community as a whole. 
So let's take this concept and say, why not? Why not share facilities? Why not share expertise and knowledge? Why not share resources? Why not move out of our traditional silos? All with a focus on what's best for the students and the employers in the community. You know, from the time I took on this role of president at BCC a little more than a year ago, I've been amazed, impressed, and frankly in awe of the work being done in various organizations downtown, and particularly on the downtown east side, and I likely still don't know the half of it. What I see is being done, I also see there's more we as an urban college, as an example, could be doing to contribute to this great city. I do know that we are focused on moving forward, but why not go even bigger? John F. Kennedy said it so well. From time in the world, do not stand still. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. In reality, the future is here. Technology and our digital natives have put the world into a fast forward, and as leaders, we need to embrace that. I believe that a collaborative campus approach would help us create an authentic opportunity, one that will resonate in our community by tapping into knowledge and social capital available here. When I look back on the brief time I spent with my new friend Richard, and I see the people who come through BCC's doors every day as one small sample, people who need and deserve another chance to create the life that they dream of, I'm inspired to move this dream from why not to reality from concept to action. Action I know that will give people like my new friend Richard that second chance they want so badly and absolutely deserve. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the idea of a collaborative campus. Please tweet me, text me, or email me, or if you're a little old-fashioned, call me. Thank you.